You got nothing. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, before we get this started, I just want to say I appreciate y'all for showing some support on the video I just did about Saints Row. Um, understanding the love and hate that the reboot is getting. Some of y'all was commenting, a lot of y'all were liking. Well, some of y'all were liking, some of y'all were disliking, and I just appreciate it all really. Because in the comments, you know, hearing from other people's perspective and just talking interacting with y'all that's sweet uh that's underrated i fucks with that heavy and i fucks with the likes as much as well because that shit helps and for the dislikes i appreciate that too because you know something i said or something i phrased could have been bad or something like that so i do appreciate that because you might have just disliked that or if you just disliked it because you don't fuck with me then i <laughs> but other than that man in today's video, basically, I'm just going to talk a little bit more on understanding slash loving the reboot. Well, understanding the reboot and why fans love it and understanding why fans hate it. I'm going to touch upon that a little bit. But then I'm going to have my personal opinion on why, at first with the reboot, why I was at shock and why I didn't really like it as much. And, uh, yeah, because although I did explain why in previous videos, I'm just going to talk more about my personal opinions and just everything that like I just everything that um I cared about in previous Saints Row games and now that the reboot's coming out why it kind of made me you know mad so yeah let's get it so I'm gonna just say this we'll try to phrase this uh the best I can older Saints Row fans versus newer Saints Row fans let's talk about that first and it is a stereotype I know, because there's some older Saints Row fans that fucks with the reboot, apparently, and there's older Saints Row fans that don't, and there's newer Saints Row fans that actually don't fuck with it, slash do fuck with it, surprisingly. It's just a stereotype, so if, I'm sorry if you're an OG Saints Row fan and you hate the fact that I'm saying you're a new fan, it's just basically a, a stereotype, you know, in the community. And speaking more on stereotypes, there's a lot of stereotypes in the world. I don't have to explain more on stereotypes. I just, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying to like be disrespectful in any type of way. So I just want to get that out the way. Anyways, so newer Saints Row fans, <laughs> the reason why old G's don't really fuck with the reboot as much as y'all is because. <clears throat> the games we played were more gangster like Saints Row games and those were the games we enjoyed at the most we we could play those games for hours and hours and those games came out years and years and years ago Saints Row 1 I believe came out in 2006 Saints Row 2 came out in 2008 the reboot is coming out in 2022 add up those years add up those years it's been basically that long since We've had a gangster-like game that we can rely on, that we can play, because there's not many of them out there, and Saints Row just was amazing. Like, you had sloppy seconds, you had rim jobs, you had freckle bitches, like, come on, bro, like, then all that just disappeared, and it just wasn't there no more, and then Saints Row 3 and 4, you know, Steel Port, instead of Steel Water, it was Steel Port, and that came out, those games came out in 2011 and 13, and now, later on, the reboot comes out, and it's just like are we are we is this serial like are are we being taken for a joke like are we are we not gonna like get a the, the gangster game we love that's why most of us is kind of just like what the hell is this what why aren't we getting you know the game we love and i understand that the saints row they can't really give us a gangster game for some reasons because you know life today is different and if they were to do certain things they could get in trouble i can understand that but a remaster slash adjusting just a few things a few things keyword a few things that could work you don't have to just change up the culture and just make it like kid friendly you feel me make it like fortnite you feel me you can just do slight changes i don't know what it's like to be in the gaming industry of all that shit i just played a video game so i'm just trying to give my best opinion you feel me and for older fans 
the newer fans like the reboot because they do like change and they would like to see the things go in a dif different direction. Because if I'm being honest, like this game could be looking really kid friendly, but it could be giving those kid friendly vibes like those Disney Channel or Nickelodeon vibes where like, you know, the losers or the cool, the, like... When the losers, geeks, whatever, you know, have a bad story, then they turn up at the ending of the movie and they become number one. That's what the reboot could be. A lot of people are probably going to look down upon the Saints because they don't look like a gang. They're going to be underestimated as fuck and then they're going to take over the world and, you know, be great. That's something that could happen. I don't really see it happen as happening as much, but it's something that could happen. So... Yeah, and I'm going to be honest. <laughs> For the Saints Row community and most game communities, let's be real. We kind of don't have... We kind of don't have an understanding of what we want. There's many people that that preferred Saints Row 3, that preferred Saints Row 1, that preferred Saints Row 2, that preferred Saints Row 2. I meant fuck 4. <laughs> and hell, even preferred Saints Row got out of hell. You know, there's many perspectives on the game, and you can't really just get a fair point of you know point of view on it like me personally i prefer saints row 2 do i think saints row 1 and 3 and 4 was ass saints row 1 no 3 and 4 kind of but not really so it's kind of hard to just you know under it's kind of hard to understand what we want because there's those that say they liked the aliens there's those that say they like steel sport there's those that say they like the game Street game so it's kind of hard to understand just overall like what we want and what should we get you feel me so yeah, I say majority wants the older games, but at the same time, you know, another half or another quarter of fans don't want that. It's, that's kind of all I gotta say. Uh, newer fans just kind of want change, and they just want to give it a chance, and they aren't necessarily... Some of them don't think that the older games were shit, they just like the newer concepts I guess and maybe the old story was just getting boring which I gotta side with them the old story was kind of getting like out of control Saints Row 3 Saints Row 4 that it was getting out of control like uh let's be real well with that being said that's why I understand both sides of the love and the hate cuz one side wants this one, the other side wants that and I completely understand where they are coming from because like there's many things I want in certain games. There's many, like, my point of view is just, like, <clears throat> some people aren't giving it a chance, and some people are giving it a chance, and it's not fair. I don't really care about gameplay. I'm going to be honest, I don't. Because, you know, the gameplay can be amazing, but the game could still be bad. And what I say about that is something like Warzone or Rocket League or Fortnite. In my opinion, the gameplay is still kind of there, and you can kind of have fun, whatever. But the game overall just isn't as fun, and it's just not fun to play. And y'all can fight me about that. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to take that back. So, yeah. Hopefully that explains things. If you want to know what side I'm on till this day, I'm still a little upset with the reboot. But I will give it a chance. I will play it. And if it is bad... I don't see myself going on the side like, oh, they should have went old school. That's what they get. The, the, the trailer has more dislikes and likes for a reason. No, I'm not going to be on that. I'm just going to be on that. I told you so energy and should have really just done this. Moving on. You feel me? Okay. So now I'm going to be talking about why I kind of side with the I don't like the reboot side. And in my personal opinion, why um, I'm a little bit upset with the Saints Row games. So... First and foremost, my favorite character, well not favorite character, but he's in my top three. Dex is one of my favorite characters. He's in my top three, hands down. And the fact that after Saints Row 2, he flees the scene. He obviously knows that the boss is trying to kill him. He knows that he's no match for the boss, and he leaves the scene. And I don't think that was coward-like. I don't think he was a pussy for that. He's smart. Dex was one of the smartest lieutenants in the Saints. You can tell by the way he just fucks the Los Carnellas. I meant, I meant, fuck. I meant the Carnellas. Rio Grande River. Sheesh, you know. But other than that, that makes me think of the other Saints Row characters and just more. Like, 
Legal Lee, Troy, and just so many other Tobias, and just so many other characters. They were left. They they they're gone now. They weren't meant. They weren't in Saints Row Three. They weren't really mentioned. They're they are gone now. Dex was mentioned in Saints Row Four. Then boom, the Earth blows up, and it's kind of just like oh, the Earth blows blowed up, uh, blew up. Uh, you know they don't it they don't matter anymore. They're done. Just forget about them. Me as a Saints Row, like I can't forget about them, bro. Those those characters did a lot for the Saints. They were there when you were down bad. And Tobias, I feel like he doesn't get. Uh, most of y'all probably don't even know who he is. He does not get love. Let's be real. And the girl that you helped um, in not corporate warfare, but with the with the I forgot what DLC it was, but you know the girl at the ending of the game, Saints Row 2 game, where um, she was exposing. She was exposing something with um, Altor or something like that, like exposing, like keeping dead bodies, making zombies and shit like that. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot about her. I forgot her name. She had a sweet card though, and she was kind of sexy. Other than that, I forgot everything about her, and I shouldn't have because she played a kind of important part of the game. Tobias played an important part. All these older characters played an important part, and I miss them. And the fact that after Saints Row 3, no, 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 after Saints Row 2, that they just became irrelevant is just not fair. Because in Saints Row 3, you go to Stillport, you get some of your gang mates like Pierce and Shondi to come with you. But there's no Tobias, there's no Troy, no Legal Lee, there's no anybody, really. It's just the big three. Then you meet Kenzie, Oleg, Viola. And they just, if I'm being honest, they kind of bail you out, Heike. Because without Oleg or without Kenzie, I don't think the Saints would have really gotten as far. Especially with the uh, Deckers, because the Deckers were a pain in the ass. Oh my, don't even get me started on them, bro. Not only that, but other <clears throat> other people, other lieutenants that died in the Saints, and other gang leaders that died in the Saints, like... Like, none of them matter anymore either, because now they're just dead and, and forgotten. In Saints Row 3, it would be so cool if somebody led the Brotherhood back up from the dead and just fucked over the Saints, and then they got into a war. Like, I would kind of prefer that than what we got in Saints Row 3. Don't get me wrong, Saints Row 3 was a good game, but, well, decent game, but it could have been better. And maybe they didn't want to go with the repetitive shit, I get that, but still... Players like Gat and the player always have to be in the games. And other players like Dex, Troy, Legal Lee, and all those other characters, they can at least be mentions. Because I really wonder, like, what happened to Tobias? Like, at the ending of Saints Row 2, he flies y'all away from the Ultor building, and y'all just chilling in the plane. Did he die? Did he part ways with the Saints? Because the Saints got famous. Remember, the Saints got famous. So, like, you don't know what happened to these characters. So that's why I really kind of just don't fuck with the reboot. Because after Saints Row 4, once the Earth blew up, it was kind of just like, Oleg's dead, Legalese's dead, Viola's dead, get over it, they're all dead. And you can't really continue the story. You can, tr like, with Saints Row 4, they weren't left with a lot of options, if I'm being honest. They could have done some bullshit and said, "Oh yeah, the boss was in a coma. Uh, this Saints Row, Saints Row 4 was fake. Uh, here's the real game." They could have done something like that, but I don't think people would have really bought it. You feel me? And there's, they, you know, it was, it was, a, it was just a rough story overall. Because in the first game, you weren't even supposed to blow up in the boat. Like Saints Row 1 made a huge mistake, and it became one of their greatest mistakes ever because Saints Row 2 was a banger of a game and it was a really good game. Like, bro. Then, I, I don't know, man. You just have all these characters. They're so good. I, I fucks with every. They fucks with them heavy. The players fucks with them heavy. And, you know, there's just so much you want to think about or so much you want to say about them. Because a lot of people can say, like, oh, Dex was a bad guy, it doesn't matter. But me, personally, I don't know if he really, truthfully, was a bad guy. I don't know if he was misunderstood or just was bad. Because in Saints Row 2, he wasn't really trying to harm the Saints. Same with Troy, he wasn't really bad. Johnny Gat just decided, I'm going to kill you because you're the mayor of um, Stillwater now, or chief of police, one of the two. I believe chief of, the poli chief of police. 
and then you know Gat tries to kill him and now Troy is the bad guy although Troy can be your homie if you complete the fight club missions which I don't know like hanging like imagine just calling him to hang out and calling Gat that's that's funny as hell so yeah that's basically why I'm kind of upset with the reboots kind of just like okay now they're doing a newer game and everything that just happened just doesn't matter I really wish they could remaster Saints Row 2 remaster Saints Row 1 or I just wish we had more consistency with the story because honestly that's that's just not fair to me how so many good characters just got sidelined and how so many good characters got replaced with bum characters I'm not the biggest Matt Miller fan. I'm going to be honest. I would take Ben King and the Vice Kings. Hell, even tying it over Matt Miller. And Asha came in in Saints Row 4 as, I guess, a replacement for Fiola or really any girl. Like, it, it, it's it's crazy. But, hey, at least in Saints Row 3, they gave you options. Like, choose, choose what you want to do. Like, um, three-way, I think the mission was called where it was the last mission of the game they gave you an option to kill Kilbane or save Shondi that was a really great option I'm not gonna let like at least they did do something right but at the end of the day that doesn't matter cuz boom the earth blows up Kilbane's already dead so why do you give a fuck you know that's that's my take on it that's why I'm not the happy camper with the reboot and after seeing those characters I'm kind of like and I don't I don't know what we're finna get so with this reboot, I hope they can keep consistent characters, and I hope they can just um, do their thing, and I hope they don't mess anything up. So that's that's um, my take on it, man. I'm really upset about certain characters like Dex, and they'll probably never be mentioned ever again. So that's the ending of the video. I went on a little rant, of, I ain't gonna lie, about like how they just completely said fuck all the other characters. But that's basically just how I feel. Overall, the reboot can be good, can be bad, and it's just whatever. I don't think we're gonna get an old gangster-like game like what we're used to getting. I guess you could say used to getting. But it's whatever. If you're happy about the reboot, good for you. If you're not happy about the reboot, then just try your best to look on the bright side i guess just just try just do it for just try do it do it for me just just try your best you can try your best right so yeah i hope um for a change from community since we got the reboot i hope we all can get along and i hope like we aren't hostile towards each other because remember where we came from this game was good and it might finish bad or finish good but at the end of the day i'm glad that i'm a third street saint not only am I a third street saint, but I'm glad that I grew up with this version of Saints Row. That I played this version of Saints Row. And that I for sure didn't grow up with this version of Saints Row. But I'll be happy to play it. Anyways, see y'all in the next video. Peace.